the CO2 sensor. And I'll see if the measurement increases. Oh yeah. Now I'll watch it go back down to ambient. The line should get a little bit smaller. It takes about a minute for the sensor to drop back down. And you can see the line dropping. And a uh, close up of our uh, electronics table, which is separate from the drawing table. <clears throat> On the left is the uh, uh, two vernier um, sensor adapters with a uh, Six volt power supply beneath it, and a little uh, breadboard from Radio Shack. And then over on the right is the uh, CO2 sensor, which can go in a bio chamber if we want to inject a sample, uh, such as from a uh, soda can or something like that. But what I found works really well is just to uh, <clears throat> blow on the CO2 sensor itself. And then finally, the robot doing its thing. And there's our baseline right there, which is just about zero. And if, as the day progresses, we have a long piece of paper, the length of the table. And then underneath are multiple sheets that I can just um, put up on our display, hang them up. And I've got uh, all the sheets just right underneath ready to go. Overall, I'm really happy with the setup. It just looks spectacular and it's going to work great.